No, there's actually a lot of really good studies that have looked at some of the um, additional benefits of having home-based care. In fact, there's a recent one out of Germany recently for patients that have um, diseases that require enzyme replacement therapy. And in addition to maybe a convenience factor, their patients also express that they have more control over their disease. They feel more empowered. Um, and you really do kind of, I think those of us that have worked in this industry, you do see that power shift. When you go to a patient's home, you're in their space and you do things their way and at their pace. And so it's, it's definitely a very empowering way to receive your health care. Um, there's also other benefits like, you know, they feel, they feel like they sleep better, they have less depression versus staying in a facility, for example, to get an IV antibiotic over a long couple, you know, weeks or months period of time. Um, I wouldn't say it's by disease state as much as it is about the therapy itself. And honestly, when home infusion first started, it was very narrow in terms of the number of therapies that were provided. But today, we do everything from IV antibiotics to advanced biologic therapies to chemotherapy. So um, it's really about us understanding that particular drug, its safety profile, but also the patient's environment and their support system in the home, and just understanding what is, what's the best site of care for this particular patient who needs this particular drug. This has been a bit of a challenge. Um, home infusion is widely reimbursed by commercial plans, but it does not have a benefit under the Medicare program. So if you have any payer other than Medicare, you probably have pretty good access to home infusion. But if you're a Medicare patient and you're in traditional Medicare, you don't have a home infusion benefit. You may have some coverage under drug, uh, the drug benefit in Part D. You may qualify for nursing under Part A, but it's a very fragmented um, process to try to piece that coverage together. But for the most part, if a patient is a Blue Cross or United Healthcare or Cigna, they're you know, well-established um, reimbursement pathways for, for those patients.